Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> Here we can see students of Oldham Academy North in Manchester praying outside in the cold. Allegedly it was said that they were praying inside when a senior member of staff came in, started shouting at them and forced them to go out. They went outside and that's where they prayed. Naturally there was a social media outcry as to why on earth something like this would be happening nowadays. And because of that you can see their pinned comment on their Twitter page they have released a statement in which pretty much they're saying we have now allocated a prayer room and the school would not kick students out. You know kudos to you guys thank you very good. Seen as it is a majority British Bangladeshi Muslim school why on earth did it take a social media outcry for you to do something like that because the question would be where have they been praying before and why now and also it's a very clever choice of words implying that yeah as a school we would not uh, kick students out or tell them to leave but that's not what we're asking we're asking about that one senior teacher who forced them out. Now that we've got the facts out the way I just want to say what an amazing sight yeah especially nowadays where let's face it the youth get a lot of slack and here you can see them mashallah praying humbly and with such devotion yeah it's so pure mashallah another thing that i really loved was there was no ruckus no disrespecting of teachers and this and that they just quietly went and just did their thing and that's brilliant and that's what I think other people need to pick up from as well because if you react in a certain way the media will latch on to that. Give them nothing. We got social media, you got your boy over here and you've got other uh, Muslim social media personalities that will amplify your voice. So yes these humble students mashallah bowing their heads in front of Allah, showing humility to Allah. They say show your humility and your love to Allah then Allah will make others be humble in front of you and love you also. Yeah fix your relationship with Allah, Allah will fix your relationship with the people. If these kids can do it in their schools outside in the cold then what about you and me? I mean come on. And another thing that was ironic was Islamophobia Awareness Month just finished <laughs> yeah, a couple of days ago. Apparently this school participated in that clearly they didn't learn anything from it. And it should also be noted that meditation, transcendental meditation is something which is pretty much now within the curriculum through PSHE and it's encouraged because it encourages students to be calm and you know lowers the blood pressure and so many other benefits. But it should also be noted that prayer, religious participation causes less mental illness less depression and less anxiety as this study clearly shows. To such a degree that even atheists have tried to mimic this as you can see by their Sunday assembly which takes place which tries to pretty much do the same thing. So praying is in line with the ethos of any school. It's not against the school, schools should be actively encouraging and facilitating this. And with the rise of youth offenders and drug use and sexual misconduct a lot of people have said that praying salah has helped in their rehabilitation process. And it's free, you don't have to do anything just provide some space. It's high time that schools actually look at the research rather than relying on the news. And we can see ironically this week MCB revealed a study from 2018 to 2019 that 60% of the articles showed Muslims in a negative light. Yeah, don't project your insecurity and your ignorance about Islam onto innocent kids. Isn't that a safeguarding issue? And my question would be Ofsted, where's Ofsted? <laughs> yeah when it comes to a Muslim school they're very quickly mate. And the reason I say this is because a staff member, an ex-staff member 
has exposed that there have been many Islamophobic incidents, especially within senior staff. This has to be investigated. The fact that an ex-teacher is saying that there's deep-rooted issues. This is not as simple as, yeah, we got a prayer room. This needs to be dealt with. Why, why are we getting the prayer room now? And this needs to be investigated. And if your school does not have a prayer facility within the rules and regulations of the school, you should petition, you should go forward and do what you can. And I'm sure you guys are allowed to protest as well. Make it happen, guys. I'll see you next time, inshallah. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum.